Okay, here we go. This is uh, the E-Flight Timber battery cartridge system prototype. Uh, I've been through five reiterations, and those are in the still photos uh, in this, this post uh, where this video is. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly go through uh, what it looks like and how it works. So uh, finally came to the f realization that this needs to be very thin to fit in uh, the timber battery cartridge area or timber battery compartment. Um, uh, the first revs were a lot thicker. They weren't going in the hole. It was just more trouble than it was worth. And I was seriously considering saying, hey, you know what? Just use Velcro. <laughs> uh, but I don't give up too easily. Uh, so I kept on going and came up with something like, uh, like this. So what happens is uh, this inserts in the plane thusly, or you know, slides in the hole. Uh, this you so use these four holes, or to, actually, I'm just going to give you two screws, and two screws seems to hold it rather well in the hole or in the uh, in the aircraft. Uh, two screws will be in the kit. Those screw down to the plastic that's there. That's your choice whether you want to leave it or uh, take it out and install the optional ESC tray in the holes that are already cut for it. So that can cradle your ESC underneath uh, the battery if you so choose. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okay, so to release it, you know, you slide, the battery will be on here. I'll uh, give you a couple of dots of Velcro in the kit too. You want to center it up on the Center it up on the tray. <clears throat> Not really terribly critical, but it's always best to center it up. Uh, this will be in the aircraft. You'll slide it in thusly mm -hmm. and slap down the two hold downs. They're neodymium rare earth magnets holding the, holding the battery in. And then you have uh, another. Uh, battery or uh, sorry magnetic latch up front that holds the CG position so you slide it back and forth etc this is under foam so that's going to probably help it hold it in uh, there you are and your CG is set you can go all the way back to the end of the compartment um, back at this end uh, you could probably also remove some foam at the end and and extend you know I cut slots for you all the way back I don't know what you might do that for but you know you're interested there's a capability I like a lot of different batteries and or the capability to use a lot of different batteries in aircraft because we all have different size um, and milliamp hour uh, sizes of batteries and so just best. Anyway, there it is. Let's put it in the plane. Kazra, a friend of mine, so kindly lent me uh, a brand new fuse uh, to use as the guinea pig. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, hopefully we'll zoom a little bit there. Get it. Working upside down is weird. Okay, so there. I don't want to bruise his fuse. Let me work it real good. See that? That's pretty good. Cyril. I'll try and do this the easy way. So you take this, it uh, slides in the fuse thusly. Uh, you're going to have to remove some foam. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Um, there, for some reason, is a quarter inch 
boss that runs along the edge of the battery compartment down there. Get my big fat fingers out of the way. Um, here and here. You'll know it by looking in there and uh, seeing it. No particular purpose. Uh, I took it out. It was just completely in the way and it reduced the height, clearance. Um, you can fight it in there, but it'll be a fight. Uh, so I removed it and I did it with a flat uh, single edge razor. I slapped it on the deck down and ran it back and forth along the boss both vertically and horizontally uh, both sides and it came out really clean. Uh, I, t I traced the front edge to get a nice situation up front. I took a long exacto and I traced along this edge and that edge and came across here and here to cut nice uh, nice and neat. So uh, the screws go in this is going uh, into the hole and you want to mine the ESC below. Uh, you either want to if you're not if you're not going to use the cradle the custom cradle. I've, I'm going to supply screws that are just long enough to get into the plastic and avoid, hopefully avoid the, the ESC, but that's going to be up to you. All planes are different and you might want to tape it in place, but I think those are just going to touch the plastic. Uh, let's see what's happening. Let's uh, move it here so we get a really good idea. Okay, so this, it's screwed in and uh, you're ready to install the battery. You pull the the pawls. I think they're called pawls or dogs or we'll call them pawls. Um, you have your battery attached. This is a puffy old rhino I have, so I used a thick one. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's my lovely wife coming in on the video. <laughs> Hello, lovely wife. Hello. What are you doing? I'm making a video. <laughs> okay. I'll. Sp this will be a cut. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back at it. <sighs> Lovely wife left. Okay, so this is the battery. This is the rhino, the my puffy rhino, and the weird pink hands because uh, the light in here is new LED fixtures, and for some reason they they make everybody look pink. Anyway, uh, the battery goes in. Uh, drops down in. Um, the poles go down, lock the battery tray down, and the adjustment. Hopefully, I'm getting this. The uh, CG position gate locks everything in place. Uh, you can go all the way back to there for the 2200. I think I'm at the back, yeah. Uh, so you have this much CG adjustment. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six positions. So you should be able to get uh, CG adjustment rather easily. To pull the battery out, you lift against the magnets. They lift up, and you're ready to put the next cartridge in or your next battery. Um, that's pretty much it. I I tried a 20 or a 3200 and it is mighty mighty tight. Uh, but I'll show you that it is possible. Here's a Turnigy 3300. Uh, it's a nice shape, you know, not puffy. So that's probably going to be a a requirement. You're not going to get a big 3300 that's been puffy or older in there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give you two screws, as I said before, but they're not going to be these screws. They're going to be some flathead machine or flathead Phillips screws, wood screws, because you're going to want them flush with the deck uh, to make your life a little easier. So those will be in the kit. So the battery goes in, same as it ever was. A little bit of a squeeze. Got 
got it in there messed up, of course, for the demo. Okay, so it's got to go in between. And it does fit, and you push down the dogs or the paws. You lock in place. What I needed to do is get in between the two and then push that down. Uh, so we're in and we have CG adjustment. Little bit, little bit. I think it's going to be nose heavy. I don't know. I haven't flown the plane so I can't say. Uh, CG adjustment locks in. It's, you know, you're going to, you're going to, with a 3300, I think you're going to wrestle uh, with space constraints. Uh, but you can do it, and it, you know, if you want to fly a long time, use 3300. You're going to have to snake the supply wire either up through the bottom, cut some foam on the side to get the, the uh, ESC power wire to the battery. But that's, that remains to be seen, how people do that, how they want to attempt that. Uh, then the hatch goes on, Bob's your uncle, and you're going to have a lot of good times. Long flight times. Anyway. Uh, it fits the stock 2200 rather easily. I'm going to pull that out of there, pull it forward, pull it forward, release the dogs, pull up. Actually, it's probably easier to pull it out of there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Um, 2200 is the stock battery for it, and the slimmer the better. Falls up. Falls down. Lock it in. Slide it back. Or to your preferred CG position. Hook up your battery. Ready to go. Pull forward. This is the prototype. Uh, so what I'm going to do for the production one is uh, beef this up. Where are you? See that? That's going to. This is going to have a bigger. Round on it, right there. That's going to be more plywood. And I think uh, it's best to CA harden the holes uh, when you put it together. You know, just put some CA in the hole and then blow through it and make sure it's nice and the, the, it's not puddling in there. And, uh, you know, that'll beef it up. So that's going to have to be a little bit more beefy right there. And I think it's going to last a good while. And yeah, simple little sled shoe. It's not even really a sled. It's a shoe. That's what we'll call it, shoe. Anyway, I've got to do some numbering and some lettering on the on the pieces of various pieces of plywood in the kit. Um, so everything that gets you know, if, all the pieces will have be marked with an F, which means forward to the front, front, <laughs> front of the aircraft. Uh, the motor end. So it'll go together rather well. And I'll do a construction video of putting the tray together and how um, I've come to or learned how to do it. Anyway, there you go. We'll uh, talk to you soon.